Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to discuss the security analysis process for the power system. So let us begin. Okay, friends, we have understood uh, from our previous lecture the basic idea of the power system security. Okay, now in this lecture, let us understand the process of the security analysis. How the security of the power system can be analyzed, that process, let us try to understand. Okay, see, basically, uh, what we can do is the system security can be broken down into two major functions okay which are carried out in the operation control system see this operation control system is nothing but the energy management center okay again uh, this is nothing but the load dispatch center okay if i talk about the maharashtra it is in kalva in mumbai okay see uh, those two major important functions are the security assessment and another is the security control Okay, see in case of the security analysis, we need to assess the security and again we need to control the security. Okay, so one by one we will discuss what is done in the security assessment and what is done in the security control. Okay, see the first one that is the security assessment. Basically, it deals with the security levels or it gives the security levels of the power system. Okay, at what operating state it is operating okay accordingly it will give us the security level okay again the second one that is the security control what it gives basically it determines the appropriate security constraint scheduling required to optimally attain the targeted security level okay see the name itself suggests their functions in assessment we are getting to know at what security level the power system is operating again the second one in security control what we are doing in that we are determining the control action okay required to take the system uh, to a desired level because we need to attain or we need to achieve some target security level okay see the security functions in an energy management system is executed in real time okay and study modes okay the real time application functions have a particular need now you see that the security uh, functions we need to do in the runtime okay because we know that the power system is a dynamic one uh, because the load is dynamic okay so for uh, that purpose to have the real time execution uh, what we need is we need the real time applications okay and again to run those real time applications we need uh, computers which should have the good speed okay uh, the computing speed should be very high and it should be reliable again okay it should not fail at any time okay uh, so such requirement will be there in order to have the real time execution of the security function again the static security level of a power system is characterized by the presence of emergency operating conditions okay if there is a limit violation then we can say that the static security level of the power system are present okay and this is characterized by the emergency operating condition okay in its actual pre-contingency or potential what is the post-contingency operating state okay so system security assessment is the process by which any such violations are detected okay see definitely when violations will be there so that violations how we can get to know from comparing the pre-contingency that is the actual value and post-contingency see here uh, the potential is used okay so by comparing these two we will get to know that is there any violations are there or not if the difference comes then we can say that the violations will be detected if the difference is not there then violations will not be detected here okay so basically the system security assessment is doing that part only okay again the system assessment involved two function 
the first one it deals with the system monitoring and the second one is dealing with the contingency analysis the first one that is the system monitoring is nothing but again this part we already discussed in the introduction to the power system security in system monitoring same thing we are doing with the help of that telemetry system we are providing the power system operator with pertinent up to date information of the current condition of the power system okay see it will use a telemetry system to monitor the current voltage power flow frequency uh, circuit breaker condition all these things will be monitored with the help of the telemetry system and those will be stored in the as a database okay and the system will detect the violation okay and in case of the violation uh, the system will give the alarm to the operator okay so in simplest form what we can say related to the system monitoring is that it just detect the violation okay in the actual operating state that's it system monitoring is just for the detection of the violation now contingency analysis contingency analysis is much more demanding and normally performed in three distinct states okay what are those three distinct state first one is contingency definition second one selection and evaluation see we have already discuss this contingency analysis what we do uh, in contingency analysis is when we are using some computer to perform those contingency program so what result we will get uh, we will get the prediction of the possible coming future faults okay we will get those possible outages okay so the list of those will be predicted okay in case of the contingency analysis so firstly the contingency definition so contingency definition what we do we will get the list of those possible outages which are predicted by the program so those will be the definition okay see that list it may be like first one will be the loss of generator second one will be the tripping of the transmission line another will be like a transformer failure so likewise we'll get some list so that is nothing but the contingency definition another is the contingency selection now every time there are number of outages may be possible okay and if suppose if your contingency definition or if the contingency analysis is giving a big list okay then of course we are performing this security analysis in runtime now if suppose if i get here a list of 100 possibilities okay if i try to check all those possibilities then it becomes very difficult because yes, it will become a time consuming uh, which is not expected when we are dealing with the runtime uh, program okay so what we do here is based on the severity of this possible outages listed here we will choose the most severe one okay so in rough order based on the severity again a short list is prepared okay we, we can ignore some of the possible outages in that case based on the severity so by that way we are selecting some of the possible outages which were predicted in the first case okay and the third one is the evaluation now let's say out of those 100 let's say we have selected only 20 possible outages now what we need to do is we need to evaluate uh, in evaluation what we are doing we are calculating what will be the consequence if that contingency is introduced in the system let's say the first one loss of the generator so what we will in evaluate in that case if the generator will loss what will be the picture in the power system will there be any changes in the line flow is there any overloading of the generator so that is nothing but the evaluation a loss of generator is evaluated and again after the evaluation the system will be analyzed okay likewise for all those 20s these evaluations will be done okay 
so this is what we are doing in case of the contingency analysis so after doing those analysis we will get to know uh, after which possible outage uh, what will be the situation okay and according to that we can decide the control action in advance okay so that is what basically we are doing in contingency analysis okay now this is what related to the system monitoring or the system assessment okay first is monitoring simplest way it just detect the violation second contingency analysis in contingency analysis what we do we defined it we select some of the contingencies from them and we evaluate it okay now the second part of the security assessment is the control action now we are get to know here where violations will come the system monitoring is going to give us next uh, if suppose if contingency is there so what are the consequences of those contingencies will be given by the contingency analysis so i know what will be the problems in my system so accordingly in second part we can decide some control or the some security control actions okay so that we can avoid those serious outages okay okay so that is what we are obtaining or we are doing in case of the security assessment okay see the second major security function is security control which allows operating person to change the power system operation in the event that contingency analysis program predict a serious problem okay and maybe suppose if that if we don't take any control action here then the system or that problem will cause an outage okay so normally the security control is achieved through the security constraint optimization program okay so this is what done in case of the security analysis okay monitor it get to know if any of the outage comes what will be the effect or what will be the consequence of that outage in the system and accordingly prepare the control action okay that is what we do in case of the security analysis thank you very much